or goat or sheep. You would have to butcher your own food. Look at that. Jean Baptiste Rotondo escaped prison. Ever hear of him? He knows a few things about the assassins. It's likely it was very hard to live back then. Extremely hard. Before the National Guard can reach him. He's right down there, escaping through the sewers. Think of it like... Think that you had a headache back then. There was no aspirin. You would literally have to live with it. Yeah, you would have to live with it. You broke your leg. <laughs> you were stuck. The only thing they would give you was whiskey or alcohol. That you had to drink to numb the pain. But if worse comes to worse. They had to amputate the limb. And then you had to worry about drinking water getting contaminated. People died of the plague, dysentery, everything like that. It's not like what you see in the movies where everybody is beautiful and stuff like that. These were very grueling times, guys. It's supposed to be getting coming down into the sewer, right? Yeah, okay. You wouldn't want to live here, guys, trust me. And look at this, all the sewer was open. No manholes. No nothing. Yeah, no manhole covers, guys. Just... You lived in filth. There we go, we got him guys. 
We take some medicine. Oh, you're still struggling? Okay, there you go. <laughs> and now these guys are rat food. <laughs> Oh, and that's another thing too, guys. Rats. <sighs> okay. Nope. Okay. Can't get it now, my... Okay, now how do I get out of here? Okay, I came... Okay, there we go. Okay... It has to be this way. Yep, it is. 